Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing something super exciting. So I've seen this little crazy video running around Instagram for a really long time now. Not really, it's recent. But it's gone crazy all over my Explorer page. A lot of people are reposting it. And it's a gorgeous girl. I actually didn't catch her name on Instagram, but I'm pretty sure if you guys were to go on Instagram, you would find her. But I don't know her name and I am so sorry, but if you guys know who she is, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I will make sure to give her credit in my description box for you guys. But it is a video where she is applying her makeup with this little silicone toothbrush little situation here and this is a little rubber toothbrush for little babies I thought this is such an amazing genius idea so I really wanted to test it out for you guys and see if it works and you guys are gonna see if this little thing was able to do this flawless foundation or if it was a total fail so if you guys want to know if this little silicone finger blender works just keep on watching okay guys and this is what we're gonna be doing our makeup with today and this is the little toothbrush that we're gonna be using it's an infant finger toothbrush that is so cute oh my gosh and it's like super squishy and I found this at CVS for only two dollars so this was super cheap and you get these little two things so if you have a little baby this is perfect for you so my baby's gonna open it for me while I set my face I'm sorry if I sound like I have a list just because I got my braces <laughs> I don't have my bottom braces on just yet. I just have the top ones on. Next month, I'm going to go in for the bottoms. But yeah, sorry if you can hear my voice and my lisp sound weird. So this is how it looks like. It's super squishy and like flexible. I could already tell this is going to be good. Yes, girl, look at it. Before I start, I'm gonna prep my face like I normally would before applying my foundation. And you guys have seen me do this so many times, so I'm gonna try to speed through it really quick. I'm just gonna spray my face to hydrate it before applying the foundation and then apply some primer and then we will move forward. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Natural Beige. You guys, I am so excited to try this little thing out. I really, really hope this works because I feel like it would be so easy to just, you know, get the work done really fast. When I tried the silicone bra as like a dupe for the Scylla sponge, I noticed that you have to use a little bit of foundation because obviously this is not gonna soak up any product, so you would normally want to apply a little bit less than you would with a normal sponge that will soak up all your makeup. So I'm gonna be applying just a little bit on the back of my hand. And from this little tooth, brush I guess we're gonna be using the soft side that there's like nothing on there there is like some small little bumps but I don't think that should affect the foundation at all so I'm gonna go directly from my foundation and then apply it on my face we're gonna get started now and I am so excited to try it okay we will see hmm okay this is harder than I thought so far not impressed. Oh no, I think this is gonna be a fail. You know what I'm gonna try to do, you guys? Is probably flip this little thing over because the little balls that it has on the texture, on the silicone, is interfering with the application. But other than that, it looks like it would be really good to apply the makeup. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to flip this around and get the texture to be completely smooth. So I will be right back. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and blend this because I don't want my foundation to stay like that. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend this because if I don't, it's going to get dry and then it's going to be a hot mess. <laughs> so basically, we're going to be making this a beauty blender versus silicone finger blender <laughs> yay perfect all right so this side of my face is done i am baking underneath my eyes already and my baby was able to flip it so there's no texture on the little finger toothbrush anymore i am gonna give it one more try and then you guys know i always want every hack and i always try my best to make every hack work so we will see if this side now is gonna work it seems I mean, obviously a lot better because there's no texture whatsoever. It's just completely smooth. So I'm going to go ahead again and apply two pumps of foundation. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wasn't supposed to use that much. But anyways, okay, we're going to go ahead and start applying the foundation. Please work. 
Oh yeah. Yay! So that was definitely what we needed to do. And it looks like a lot darker too. So the coverage is definitely like super intense, but I'm so sad. It doesn't blend it well, like at all. Oh, you guys, I'm so sad. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like super streaky and it looks like it's just sitting on top of my face instead of going in like a normal, you know, beauty blender would apply your foundation. I mean, it's not that bad. Right now that I'm trying to blend it a little bit more, it's not that bad. But you can tell if I were to leave it like this, my foundation would crack and crease really bad. So before it dries, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it with the beauty blender. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm so sad. It was such a genius idea. I could definitely see why, I mean, it could work. Maybe it's the one that I was using. So if this one didn't work out, I'm, I'm like, why, you know? Am I doing something wrong? Is it the the kind of the one that I got? I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying it. Maybe it will work for concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation on my forehead with this again. Or not. <laughs> no, it just it doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer now. I'm trying not to give up on it. I mean, it has to work for something, right? Maybe tapping? Or not? What if maybe I spray the thing? No. Uh, I'm so sad. I really wanted it to work. This is not working. Okay, guys, so my babe was reading the description of the little box where this came at, and it says that this is not silicone. It is rubber. So I don't know if that was maybe my fault for not reading what it was, but maybe if you find like a silicone little thingy, maybe it would work better. It like makes your foundation stick. So maybe that's why it wouldn't glide on your face. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup. I applied my foundation and concealer with this little thing. And I will be right back and share with you guys my final thoughts on this crazy little hack. All right guys, and that was it for today's video. And unfortunately, this is the first time I try a hack and it doesn't work and it makes me so sad because I really wanted this to work. I felt that this little thing would have done such a good job and super fast to like just, you know, on the go, apply your foundation, let's get out of the door. But unfortunately, it did not work for me. And I know sometimes all the hacks that I do may not work for a lot of you guys. I'm not sure if it was maybe the little thingy that I used because it was made out of rubber and I needed maybe a different material. I'm not sure what went wrong. I really tried to make it work with the foundation, with the concealer, and none of them worked for me. I feel like it was just sitting over my face and it wasn't like, you know, making my skin look like skin. It was making it look super cakey and I felt like if I would have left it like that, it would have gotten super a hot mess. <laughs> so I am so disappointed because I really wanted it to work and I will not stop saying that because I really wanted it to work. I need to take this off. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you be part of my Vixies. Like this video if you like me testing crazy Instagram hacks. If you want to be more in contact with me, you guys know I love to communicate with you and have a real friendship. You guys can follow me on my social media. I have Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I will leave that down in the description box for you guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!